said, would you do a little bit live on air? So I went live this morning on BBC CWR just about the fuel crisis. And I've also just spotted out the window. I didn't even know they were here. Here he is. I didn't know you boys were coming today. This is the bargain of the day though. Copyright wise, I'm not sure how it's going to work. Plum based style lot. We've got Oasis style. We've got Run DMC style. So if you're here Thursday, come and see them. I'm sure they'll sort your deal out or something. We've got a deal for you. There you go. Apparently, we've got a deal for you. <laughs> Right, welcome back to the channel. Seems like a while that I've been here in front of you for me because I filmed a lot of last week's videos a while before and got them out because I was away this last weekend. Um, as some of you may know, if you follow me on social media, Instagram and stuff, I was cycling in the Pyrenees, which was amazing. Uh, top of some mountains, can't be bad, even though it hurt the legs a little bit. But that's, uh, that's what we went for. Um, so that was all good fun. So today we're off to install a show. I'm just sat in the car waiting to head over there, meeting up with a mate of mine, Ben Johnson, uh, who ben owns Ben Johnson Gas Services. He does a lot of my gas work for me, servicing, stuff like that, boiler fitting. Um, so we'll meet up with him, have a look around, see what's going on. From what I can tell, there seems to be a good few shows there, good few trade stands there. Uh, so it'd be interesting to go around, pick a few of their brains. Um, and hook up and catch up with some people I know the likes of uh, you know Luke Clayton, PB, Pete's going to be there uh, see the lads from Unilight etc etc so got my ticket we'll head over there now and I'll give you a little bit of a walk around and film some bits and bobs for you right we're in we're down in installer show now uh, met up with Ben he's down there he's been covered by the uh, some app I think some you know some app that where you put your, uh, a bit like Tradify, that sort of stuff. But just had a quick look round, we're just working our way round now. Seems to be quite a decent show. A lot busier than what the tool fair was. So we'll get our bearings a little bit and I'll uh, give you a shout and let you know just where we're at. So just walking past the uh, Velocity stand and I was telling Ben, Ben asked me how I was getting on with the um, that jobbing bag that I got the other week, this one. So we're chatting about that and your man here has collared him and he's just talking through PB service bag so I'll uh you're going to put your analyzer in here or? yeah analyzer ipad <laughs> Analyzer, printer, whatever. Yeah. You get your iPad in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Right, now, this part, I wouldn't open that end up yet. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to black version. The ones for your uh, analyzer. Yeah. Down the bottom. Ah, that's good. I like that. Yeah. Right, so we're just in the corner. And as you all know, I like to go to Plum Base. Get all my gear from Plum Base. And I've just spotted Dave over there. What? All right, Dave! How are you doing, mate? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, good, mate. Yeah, yeah. What? I'm knackered. Nice things. Here, I told you if you see him, the install, I give him some shit. Nice <laughs> things, alright? Oh, I want one of these, and I want a Run DMC one. I want one of these. I'm not sure we do in your size, man. Shut up. Shut up. Give us a plum base bag, or put that in a plum base bag. Bristan. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, no. yes. Give me a Bristan yeah. bag. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> This is. <laughs> <laughs> Two year guarantee. Yeah, probably break, probably break in a minute off here, and I won't be able to get another one. Yeah, to be fair, the plum base stand is pretty good. I was expecting to see the massive red and white low plum base logos, but to be fair, look, it's quite uh, eye-catching. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good actually. So just come to the 80 stand uh, and they're just doing a little demonstration on Magna Cleanse which is a cracky little, cracky little thing. I use mine loads, really good bit of kit. Then, on your filter connection please, you've got your isolation valves up
been around for a couple of hours now. Uh, I came with Luke and Ben Johnson, um, and I've just sort of, they've gone now, so I'm just popping around, seeing what's what. I've come to this little stand out the back. They've got, low, if, you, if you come in, uh, you probably won't, when is it, Wednesday, this is going out Wednesday, so if you come in Thursday, come right to the tail end of the, uh, of the show, and all this stuff here is, you know, it's not great stuff, well, I picked up these two Milwaukee levels, perfect for fitting baths, bathrooms, stuff like that. I think they're about six, seven quid each. Um, I've just got loads of bits and bobs that are quite handy to our cheap little grips and stuff like that. So, you know, let me take you up. They've got just like a load of bags, cheap these little cheap Raptor bags. What are they? They're not that there, I don't think. But yeah, bang on, loads of little drill bit fittings, cutters, all just dead cheap. Though. So if, you, so if you're coming on Thursday, this will go on Wednesday. If you're coming on Thursday, get yourself down here, grab some little bargains. This is the bargain of the day, though. This Bosch, I think it was like, I think they're 70 quid. I think if you look on Screw Fix today, I think they're about 170. But yeah, drop onto that. Drop onto that, and it's spot on. As always, the big wide boys are always here. Hey, how we doing? Good mate, how we doing boys? I'm right? very, very good, well. how are you? Yes, very well. Just stick that there. Yeah, no worries. Been busy? Yeah, we have Show's going alright? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you no. got your patter on point? Patter on point? Oh, I don't know about on point, but we're... It's there, uh, we're there or there about. We're delighted to just be back at shows, to be honest. Yeah. Face yeah. to face, yeah. interaction. Really I came to Tool Fair last week, and... It was alright, yeah, yeah, in here. But this is yeah. loads better this week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, is, this is much better. Yeah, no, it's always good to see the big white boys. Oh, yeah. And, uh as always if you come in this is going out wednesday night so if you're here thursday come and see them i'm sure they'll sort your deal out or something we've got a deal for you there you go apparently we've got a deal for you <laughs> right so we've just about done it install the show um go over to the plum base stand in a minute go and find dave get my bits and bobs have been storing stuff for me but yeah it's been a pretty good show to be fair uh there's plenty going on still busy now what are we now half two still busy but we'll pop over now and see dave look here he is, looking busy. Here he is. Here he is. How are you, mate? All right. How's today been for the team plum base then? Been good. Been good. People's liking. Stands mega. So if you come into his store, this is going out Wednesday. So if you come in to install a show on Thursday, swing over to the what are they passing us? The Gastonbury stand. <laughs> See what they've done there. Have you got a, have you got a little flyer yeah. there? You went. There you go. Look at they've, they've marketed it well. I don't know. I'd, copyright wise, I'm not sure how it's going to work. So they've got the, so it's the Gastonbury festival down in the corner. But look at the plum base. Show us your top, Dave. So you've got the plumb base style up, we've got Oasis style, we've got Run DMC style, The Who, Sex Pistols, they're going to have a fucking nightmare with copyrights laws in about a week's time when it all comes out. But no, as always, Dave, uh, he gets shit when he's at work, he gets shit at the installer show. So, he's, yeah, I've heard him called a few things, but season pro, he's never one of them. <laughs> So this is a bit of a strange start to uh, this week's episode. Um, a friend of mine, Phil Upton, works on a local radio station and his colleagues have rang me uh, yesterday when I was at Installer Show, whether I'll go on air live this morning um, and talk about the fuel crisis. So being a tradesman, as we know, emergency call outs, stuff like that, uh, they're just gonna get my sort of take on on how, how I've been affected by not getting any fuel. Uh, so Richard's literally just turned up in my kitchen with his microphone, with his headphones on, about to go live on the radio. Yes, morning Phil, we're in Mark and Caroline's kitchen and Mark is just about to get ready to go out and do his jobs for the day. Mark's been a plumber for 27 years. Mark, uh, take us back to... There we go, I'm just in my little bit with Richard on the radio. Uh, that's gone out. True Cheers mate. True professional, Mark. There we go, true professional. But yeah, so he's come out in the van. Um, yeah, I so say they rung me up last night and just said, would you do a little bit live on air? So I went live this morning on BBC CWR, just about the fuel crisis. Um, yeah, it's just nice to give a tradesman's perspective of how it's affecting us. So yeah, so right, I better go and do a bit of work. Well, that was a different start to a Wednesday morning. Um, yeah, the, the radio contacted me and just said, would you mind um, going live on air, just as a tradesman's perspective on 
the whole fuel thing. Um, I'm good friends with Phil, who is the the, re the breakfast show radio DJ on BBC Commentary in Warwickshire. So he put my number forward, um, and we went on live on air this morning, just giving giving the listeners a, a bit of a background. You know, just from my perspective, you know, if you get an emergency job, it's not too bad at the minute. I've got half a tank, and I think it's going to be all right now. Um, but just from my perspective, if I got a local call out, I'd go and do it. But if I got a call out a good few mile away, you wouldn't want to risk going um, and then not being able to fulfill your jobs of the week that you've already got booked in. So it was nice for that. So, right, yesterday I installed a show. That was pretty good. Got to see a few people. Uh, it was mega busy, which is great. Um, so we've done that. And today I'm just going back to the barn to start back on this barn after a couple of week break hopefully they've got them bits in place from the previous video got the painting done change the units this that and the other so we'll go over now and have a look um, and then tomorrow being Thursday I'm at the barn I've got to finish early because I'm going over to see Alex and Pete PB at Unilife to record the Trade Legend podcast so that'll be a good one I'm looking forward to that be a good laugh um, right let's get over here and see what's going on right so i've just pulled up we are back on this barn conversion and i've just stuck my head in to see how we're looking and it's all good i'll take you in and i'll show you so while i've been away the decorator's been here getting all his bits and bobs done the uh the, this system i'm going to have a good look through this when the uh renewables guy turns up because i want to just go through it and so have a chat with them because I've never really got my head around renewable stuff. So it'll be interesting to go through that and uh, and see what's what on it. But that's ready to go. Everywhere's painted. Fair play. I've just chatted to the painter. He's been here on his own, grafting. He's got it all done. Oh, he's getting there. Here he is over in the corner, doing a bit. So these these are all decorated now. These are all painted. We can get start getting these in. And I've also spoke to the builder and. Uh, They've had to change a few of the units to match up. Got the cisterns with the long flush pipes. I, I'll link up to the uh, the previous video. I can never, still can't remember. I'll link up to the previous video. Um, and to, if, if you haven't seen it, if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen it. Um, but we've got these Tavistock units. I think they're all, yeah, everything's Tavistock to be fair. So like this, for instance, now you'll be able to see exactly See? Done. How much easier is that? From day one we said about this boxing round here. So that's it. We'll literally just get that in, fitted, uh, basing it on the top, get the cistern in, toilet in, cistern in, high level cisterns with the chrome flush. Um, and we can start making some headway on it now. Um, same as the bathroom. Just got to connect the bath. Is this one done? Yeah, this bath's connected up. Again, unit there. Toilet system there, and then they're going to box in that little bit at the back. So yeah, we finally got back to the job, and it's took a bit more shape, so we can start getting some bits in now, finally. And I've also just spotted out the window. I didn't even know they were here. Nathan and Matty, Tyler's are here, so I'm going to pop down now. I'm just going to have a catch up with them and seen them for a while. See what they've been up to. See what they've been doing see what they've been leaving see if we can get through see there yeah how are you doing lads alright right. you still fucking here plastering mad isn't mate getting on with it yeah it's not far off now mate so. so I have been here for about three weeks he's just been plastering every single day trying to get it done fair play the toilets are here apparently. Here he is! Here he is. I didn't know you boys were coming today. Right, mate, you. Yeah, well, good. Alright. Those tricks. Alright. Yeah, keep them well. Yeah. Good, good. Doing good. Good. a bit, leaving a bit. Been on holiday, haven't I? Oh, yeah, I was just on oh, the Fucking trip. Pyrenees are amazing. Yeah. Just the mountains are mega. Ah, oh, stunning. And the grout and them walls. Oh, yeah. Get them grouted. Do the floor down today. And then at least it's not holding anyone up then. 
Yeah, even yeah. if the floors ain't grouted, we can, you can all... Yeah, bump the floors in and you can just crack on, can't you? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I just had a phone call off um, John the builder and he wants me to fit the granite worktops are going into this these kitchens they've got an island in the middle and uh, the utility but what we've got to do these Balfast sinks have got to be set in before they measure up for the granite on the top um, pipe, work, pipe works here hot and cold's here um, waste is there but luckily with these we've got access this panel here clips out then we've got access through the back here. So what I'll do is inset this, this uh, Balfour sink. Basically this has got to be cut out here. Drop this down so it's flush. And then when they come out to measure the granite, they can do that. And then I can connect everything up from the back there. Um, so we'll whip this out, mark it up, whip this out, cut the, cut the works off or cut the underneath here. Let me just pop that out and show you. It's a fucking heavy old brute. So what we'll do, I'll mark it here and then cut out that area there. Balfast sink can sit on that and then they can get the, the granite sorted on the top. So, uh, We'll mark that, then we'll probably cut out a bigger section. She got a bit of movement on it anyway. So what we'll do, we'll just open that up a little bit bigger. The sink's going to be on it anyway. It's supported there. The battens are through there. So we'll get this cut out, get it dropped in, get the other one in. There we go, sorted, that's in. So that's set, we've got enough room underneath to get the waste on. And then as I said, we can connect it up down the back there. So when they put the granite on, they'll drill the hole out, pop the tap in and the flexes, they usually come real low on these when they know they're having a barrel fast sink put in. Right, is that one done? Get the granite on here now. So let's pop into the utility. Get this one done, exactly the same. Won't bore you with it again. Uh, we'll get this one dropped in. Right then, that's their Balfast sink set into the units in the kitchen. They can get the granite worktops on and some part, I think it's today or tomorrow they're coming to do that. Probably today, which would be handy. Uh, so we're gonna drop that now into this bathroom, get these vanity units in, toilet, system, basin, taps. Fair bit to crack on with now being uh, three or four of these bathrooms to get on with so we do that i'll see you like on sunday um so hit the like button hit the subscribe button as usual and i shall see you then Later.